of TikTok. Videos are fun, very informative, but not all TikTok hacks are beneficial. When we're looking at skincare and sort of skin treatments, not all of them are skin safe. So when it comes to pigmentation, sometimes it might be the wrong product or the right product, but used in the wrong way. So we need to really approach a lot of these DIY pigment hacks, you know, with some caution and perhaps a bit more research as well. So one of the things is lemon juice for dark spots. Well, you think about it, lemon juice, it's a bit acidic, you know, it's used for many types of uh, holistic treatments, but often the amount of acid you know, can be quite damaging, especially to dark spots in darker skinned individuals who may be sensitive. This could burn or irritate the skin. And if that happens, then it'll lead to post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, making your skin worse. Using hydroquinone without guidance. Now, hydroquinone is a controlled prescription drug for a good reason. We know that using it unsupervised and for too long can lend to issues of hypersensitivity and worse still, ochronosis, which is a grey-blue pigmentation that's uh, hard to treat. You may have seen that uh, you know, applying toothpaste or Vicks may help. You know, this contains various fragrances and menthol. It's all quite damaging. It damages the skin barrier, you know, cause inflammation, and all these will trigger increased pigmentation. Over exfoliating with AHAs, BHAs, well, Anything that you do over, you know, it's always going to be problematic. And when it comes to sensitive pigment issues of the skin, we don't want to irritate the skin barrier. We don't want to cause any inflammation. Ah, everything, everywhere, all at once. Was that a movie? Um, things like layering, you know, vitamin C with vitamin E, HA, retinols. Sometimes it's a bit too much for the skin. So you need to understand your skin type, understand that uh, certain of these components are good, but perhaps not too many of them. So we need to understand what certain components do to the skin and then use it selectively. And as your skin is used to it, then maybe increase. But if you find that your skin is sensitive, then do seek medical attention first so that your practitioner can go through with you what's the best way of treating your pigments. So ultimately, really, pigmentation requires a measured you know, and medically guided approach. Now, if you're unsure, then you know, definitely seek doctors who are experienced with treating uh, pigmentation will be most well-informed to advise you on whether you know, certain combinations work and whether you can do with less. And ultimately, you know, some of these pigments really need lasers, not lemons.